What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I've said it in the past in the last few videos, but we have a lot coming for the Miata and I'm finally super excited that I get to unveil like what I'm doing actually to the Miata. Um, those of you that you've been following the channel for a while, I've been wanting to do this to my car for since I've actually probably bought the car like almost four years ago. I've been stacking up so many parts. All you guys can see, I got new wheels here I'm gonna show you guys. And then I actually did take my seats out, so I'm gonna talk about that. And then you can see I got a couple more boxes over here. Um, so the big thing, like you can see the wing is actually off the car right now, but I have parts everywhere. So the big part, what I'm doing to the car is I'm actually gonna be putting the PS Deuce kit, which is gonna be, KBD actually makes the kit now. Um, I didn't wanna go with the, I guess you could call it the real kit, which is the fiberglass one, cause I do drive my car a lot. I track and everything. And the KBD one is just gonna be so much better for the driving that I'm gonna be doing. So I went with the KBD, um, their style kit, which is front bumper, side skirts, and rear bumper. So I'm super stoked to actually like be able to put that on for you guys and uh, show you like the process of me putting that on the car. But in that too, I'm actually going to be taking the wrap off the car, which is pretty sad. We've had it on here for two years now, but I'm actually pretty excited to go to something that more that's more clean for the car. So I'm going to be going to a solid color, no camo anymore. Um, some of you might be sad or be glad because some of you guys didn't like the camo, but anyway, we're going to a solid color. I won't tell you guys that just yet, but this week um, we're going to be prepping the car. So tonight I'm taking the front bumper off, rear bumper, all the stuff, and a Grim is actually going to be wrapping it again. So big shout out to him. Uh, I'm really stoked to see where this car is going to go, but tonight, basically, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing to the car, all the parts I have, and then we're just going to take off some of the parts that Grim needs to. So. That's gonna be what today's video is. So what we're gonna be taking off uh, for Grim tonight is I'm gonna be taking off front bumper. Uh, we're gonna be taking off the mirrors, hard top. Uh, I have to take off the rear bumper, tail lights, um, the mirrors, the antenna, um, and then everything else we're gonna keep on the car. Door handles stay on when wrapping the Miata. Uh, and then I'll probably actually be pulling the wrap off the hood and the front fenders, possibly the doors. And then um, from there, Grim will actually be taking all the other stuff off the car, prepping it for wrap, and then I'll actually have to be sand the car. So it's kind of sad, but um, on my car, it's a 25 year old car. So um, when we did the wrap last time, since my car is so old, the paint just peels off super easy. So I'm probably gonna have to sand like the back half of the car, which is kind of sad because <laughs> it's gonna hurt a little bit sanding my car, but oh well. Um, and then we'll just make it like super smooth so you won't be able to see it with the next color that we're gonna do. But after that, we'll have to prep the car, which he'll be doing, and uh, we'll video that process too of him rewrapping the car. I'm super stoked for the color that we're gonna be doing. It's gonna look so good with the color combo that we're gonna be doing. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now to give you a hint. We're sticking with teal. Um, like that's my favorite color ever and uh, so that's gonna be one color combo with the wrap. Those of you guys know I did have the two Sparco sprints in the car too. Um, I really, the big thing that I really want to do now is I took those out just for, because it's not track season anymore, it's a lot colder outside, no more track days for right now. Um, but I'm turning the car into right now, like I haven't had it as a street car so I missed the stock seats. So I picked up some nice leather seats and i um, super stoked about that because they're so comfortable it's more of a street car now i guess you could say before it was still a street car with those seats it was just kind of like a bummer to get in and out of the car i also picked up some garage moon mats which are gonna match like the color scheme like teal like i said before i love these things they look sick and they're super cheap they're like 80 bucks from garage moon which you can't beat that because they're really great quality but other than that guys, like I just wanted to keep the interior nicer um, and more like a street car. I missed the stock seats, so I put the, I picked up some, uh, just some leather wrapped um, stock seats and they feel so much better. Another mod that I did pick up is I, I wanted to run 16s because with the KBD body kit, 15s are just a little too small to wear how low I wanna be with the car the kit would just drag on the ground. So I did pick up some 16s. These are uh, Rotogrid um, Vs. So they are 16 by nine and a plus 25 offset. They're perfect. I picked up some tires over here. They're 215s. So I'm gonna run these just for now. So these are not gonna be the wheels that are gonna be forever on the car. Um, I am picking up and actually 
going to be building some wheels. I've uh, like reached out to three piece and everything and I've wanted these wheels for like my Z and also just I love these specific wheels for a long time. I'm not gonna let you guys know like what they are, but they will be like built wheels by three piece. So I'm super stoked about that. Hopefully I can get my hands on them. And uh, but like these wheels for right now, the rotas are just gonna be on the car so I can actually run the kit and uh, they still look good too with the, the wrap color that I'm gonna be doing. Made some progress, got the front bumper off, and boys, look at that. She is back white, the whole car is entire white. No, never mind, we still have a lot to do. But we got Casey over here. We're gonna be taking uh, this wrap off on the front fender now, and then basically as much as we can do tonight. Okay, so I gotta take the mirrors off. Kevin's in the back. Uh, taking the rear bumper off. The, literally the rear bumper is only held on by zip ties. But we got both of these peeled off now. It's crazy to see a white. I haven't seen this in two years. But now all we're doing, it's gonna be the easiest to actually take a heat gun, heat up the wrap a little bit, and it'll come off a lot easier. So slow and steady, because I, I don't want to rip off as much paint as I can. You can see like, it kind of ripped off a little bit of paint right here. Um, but we're taking it slow, and uh, let's do it. It is like the second day. I didn't film too much, that's my bad, but we actually got the whole entire car unwrapped. Um, we kind of just wanted to set the camera down. You guys saw the first part where we unwrapped like the fenders, and other than that, like the whole entire car is unwrapped again. It's crazy, because I haven't seen this, like the car is white again. And uh, it really brings back a lot of memories. It hasn't been white in like two years now, so. I'll show you guys how much wrap came off the car. It's probably like, it was a decent amount of wrap, and it was pretty heavy too, so. The car is probably a lot lighter, but <laughs> anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm sanding the car. Uh, some paint did come off. The car is like 25 years old. I think the paint's like 26 or something like that. Um, well, the car is like 26, 27 years old or something like that now. Um, so the paint's super thin, so it came off. I'm sanding a lot. I'm gonna primer and then sand it again. And then other than that, we're gonna wash the car and it'll be ready for a wrap. There she is guys, literally look at that, the car is white again. For those of you that have, are OGs of the channel and have been with us for, since this car has like came on the channel, it like started the channel. But uh, like you can see now, like literally the paint came off like all around the door right here, right here and also on the back quarter panel. Um, the paint actually lifted off while we were wrapping it before with a camo, but you could never tell because of the camo is just, it hides pretty much everything, all the imperfections. But now that we're doing the solid color on the car, um, I'm not gonna have to sand everything down so it looks like super good when we wrap it. So I did one, I got actually picked up a palm sander and uh, I'm just doing 220 grit all around and it's pretty smooth right now. But other than that, I'm gonna sand a lot more down. Other than that, I'm gonna sand the trunk tonight as well, drop the car and huge news is I got the body kit. So, I might be test fitting that tonight, not for you guys, but it'll be the next video. Um, actually, probably two videos from now that you guys will see the body kit being mounted on the car. And uh, uh, dudes, like I can't even, ooh, it looks so good. Super pumped about that. 
Uh, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get back to sanding so I knock this out and then we'll be ready for tomorrow for wrap. Oh yeah, this right here, this is like the wrap. It's crazy. It's, it's super heavy because it's uh, printed wrap, but like literally half this trash can is full of wrap. And uh, like this, this stuff is super thick, and it's it's honestly pretty cool. Like to see two years, this car's been tracked multiple times. It like sat outside and in the garage, and like the paint is super min up front, which is super nice. I didn't have to do any sanding or anything like that. The hood is still in like super good condition. We are gonna be getting a new hood. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one I'm getting, but I'm pretty pumped about that too. So this hood won't be here for too much longer. We are gonna be wrapping this hood for now because um, my hood that I'm gonna be getting won't come for another two months because it's over in Japan. But um, I'm also gonna be getting a wing that's coming from Japan too, which is pretty sick. But other than that, I'm like gonna get back to standing here, so. This video has been all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a lot. I've been uh, preparing the car for a grim and everything, so sanding it, taking everything off for him, and basically like, prepping the car for him until he has to clay bar it and actually uh, wipe it down with like alcohol and everything. But it's actually over at his place right now, and uh, it's right behind me. And I'll kind of show you guys what I did, and then that'll be it for today's video, or this video actually, not today's, because it's been multiple days. But let me turn the camera around here. <clears throat> So, this is what we had to sand. Um, so I sand the whole entire rear quarter panel, and you can see like all the way over here. And then what I did was I primed it, um, just because we wanted to prime the car and then re-sand it. <clears throat> so what we did is sanded this whole entire rear quarter, and then also the door right here, um, as you guys saw like in the previous clips. And then there was we got it down to the kind of like bare metal. And just to take precaution, we just uh, primed it so it doesn't rust or anything. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's prepping it and then also just taking the tail lights and like I said, the rear bumper and everything off. Um, you can still see we have to sand this area right here. But other than that, <clears throat> uh, the wrap is up here. So this is going to have to be for next video. But this is the currently the front fender right here, the driver's side, and also the hood is currently wrapped. So. You guys will have to wait till next video. So until then, peace out guys. See you in the next one.